I can ask you, you know, you being a trainer at your university, maybe like two more questions and we'll kind of sum things up here. But uh, yeah, yeah. You, you being a trainer at your university, how do you differ from the fact that majority of other trainers or general trainers just focus on functional fitness, you know, very CrossFit-esque style workouts where it's just a lot of metabolic conditioning work rather than actually compound movements? Which ones do you feel are safer to teach, you know, a new trainee? That, that's a good question because most of my my client, I've been through probably like 10 or 15 people now. Not at the same time. I usually have like eight at a time. But of course, like always it depends on the individual. But so just say for instance, like most of my male clientele, obviously their goal is to build muscle. So like I said, most of their training programs are pretty damn similar. Everyone squats, everyone bench presses, everyone overhead presses, a few of them don't deadlift just because I've tried to teach them and it's just really hadn't been working. So I figured um, I can teach them what they can and roll with it. But I don't really, uh, with so with, with males, like I'll, talk, I'll start with them first. I don't really do anything as far as them with metabolic work. And that's mostly due to people honestly can like figure that stuff figure that stuff out there on their own as far as like cardio workouts and things like that. Whereas doing a heavy squat or a heavy deadlift, that needs to be taught to. You can't just go in a gym and do that. You know what I mean? So that's really what I focused on most of my, my clients doing. And the, the results are, are obviously there. And then with the females, it's a little more complicated because again, you get that you know, not to hate on any females watching this, but females are even worse with the idea of they have to feel a burn and they have to be sweating, all of those things that, that a lot of the general public equate with an efficient workout, which really isn't at all. So it's harder for them psychologically to get over that barrier of, like I have one client in particular, she, she's doing like a set of squats and she does a, like a heavy set of five and then she wants to squat again in like 45 seconds. Because they're more used to that, you know, metabolic type stuff. And I have to teach her like, okay, wait two to three minutes. You can have maximal strength. And, uh, but I will, I will throw in a little more metabolic stuff with, with females because again, they enjoy it more, but it's, I still have all of my female clients squat. Most of my female clients do, um, bench press. And if not, it's a, they still incorporate, you know, heavy stuff you know, six to eight on their upper body stuff. It's They're not doing dumbbell kickbacks for four sets of 20. And But the only difference with my most of my females is that, again, they're not really trying to build muscle. Not that females can do do that much at all anyways, but most of their goals are, you know, body recomp or gaining strength and, and maintaining their weight or even weight loss for most females. So teaching them metabolic stuff is beneficial just to get that caloric burn and they tend to enjoy that stuff, like I said, but that's always put after. So we'll do like 30 to 45 minutes of the heavy stuff, you know, the, the squats, bench, deadlift things. And then we'll do, you know, just the short 15, you know, 10, 15 minute kind of, you know, ab circuit or, or metabolic work, not like a barbell complex, but that same kind of thing, you know, three or four exercises. Yeah. So three or four exercises, so like with a medicine ball or something, you know, three or four exercises where they do it for you know, 30 seconds and take a 10 second, kind of like a hit kind of a thing, just more functional. Um, and that's, to be honest with you, well, that's more of a just trying to please the client and having them burn calories and actually enjoy it as opposed to being on an elliptical than I really think it is for them to um, become a better athlete or stronger or anything like that. It's more of just an enjoyment thing, which I think is really important with your workout. I think people need to enjoy it. But even most of my, just to kind of wrap this up, it's funny because even my most of my female clients, they, they start off with kind of not really being into the heavy barbell stuff because it's, it's kind of, females are kind of intimidated in the weight room and they think they're going to get big and all of those, those myths. But the, the more we do it, the more they tend to enjoy that stuff and kind of want to get away from the, the ab workouts and the, the metabolic stuff at the end. They tend to, once they see the results, it's funny, they even tend to, 
I have females that like, I can't wait to squat tomorrow. You know what I mean? It, where before it was like, do we have to, you know, do this? So it's kind of the same thing, I guess, I see with my clients that I saw myself is the longer that I train for and the longer that they're training, they see the benefits from the the old basics and not the kind of fluff stuff, which which is has its part, but definitely should be secondary. Right. Agreed with you on that one as well, sir. We're just the same. Kinda... We're the same person. <laughs> T-E-T-Y-Men. 